Hey everybody, it's Jamie Shaw and welcome to Jamie Shaw's Marketing Show. And tonight we we're gonna I was gonna cover a blog. Seems like a lot of people's having problems with blog setup. So I figured I'd cover cover the blog. Um, you know, so what is a blog? A blog is a place where you can uh, it's where you you know, it's like an online journal. You write out your thoughts you know if you have a product and you're doing product reviews stuff like that and uh, it's it's your home on the internet it's your piece of real estate on the internet and it's a place where you can do product reviews do system reviews do uh, you know you can uh, talk about your feelings or, or your or your hobbies or uh, things you're passionate about I mean mine talks about mindset a lot of times and because you know, I'm really passionate about mindset because mindset changed how I think about things. Uh, like the deep abyss. The deep abyss was, I mean, there's a, a live deep abyss call. This is the third Thursday of the month. So tonight's a live deep abyss call. The live deep abyss helped me with my mindset. And so, you know, those type of things you can blog about on your blog. Um, you can take your videos from YouTube, you know, if you're out recording videos. Uh, take your video from YouTube and put it on your blog and make it a, a vlog, you know, a video blog. Uh, you can take your Facebook lives from uh, Facebook and you can turn them and upload them to YouTube and then put them on your blog and, you know, you're still vlogging. So, you know, it's a, it's your home on the internet. It's your piece of real estate. And people ask all the time, um, do I really need a blog? And I would say yes to that because, like I just said, you know, your blog is your piece of real estate out there. And you can write about your passions and things you like to do um, and stuff like that. Um, you know, and if, if you're in home, if you're in business, then, uh, then you can do product reviews and stuff like that on there and you know and it doesn't matter if you are with a system or with a company you know you may have uh, Amazon products that you want to put on there and I can even show how, how, how you get your Amazon products on your blog um, you may want to put you know uh, Clickbank products on there JVZoo products on there you know all kinds of stuff so there's many things that you can do with your blog um, the main thing is to write good content, write how you speak, and get stuff out there. So, uh, let's see, I can get my discus open and see if people are actually making comments because I can't see the comments. It looks like I got seven comments. Oh. All right, I don't have any comments right now live, so I just was. We had a problem with our with our comments section on Monday night, and uh, Dave switched his over to Chatwig, which I don't. And Wednesday, Wednesday switched theirs over to Chatwig, which I don't really like. Chatwig, I kind of like the looks of uh, The discus comments. So I'm going to test tonight and see how it works. Right now, it don't look like there's anybody commenting in there, whether it is or not. I'm also looking at the the back office, see if there's any comments, and I don't see any comments. So we'll just go this way too, and I'll check it. Also, see if there's any comments on it. Didn't look like there's comments on either one. But that's okay. You know, I know there's people on, there's people paying attention, you know, uh, log into the comments and make some comments. Uh, I'll just screen share with you real quick. Let me see where I'm at. Uh, uh, Let's 
so if you come in down here and you click on this button here you can log in if i log out then it'll give you a login button so if you click that login button you can log in with discus you can log, you know use your facebook credentials and log in and uh and then you start making comments uh, so either way so i'm gonna assume all right i'm gonna stop sharing real quick and uh most people they get their blog uh, i'm not gonna cover domain mapping and stuff like that i'm just gonna cover getting your blog set up um, so i'm assuming you've got with whatever system you get i'm gonna show you both my blogs one i don't have set up one i do uh, you know, and one is for the system that I use, MLSP. I have my blog set up for that. For PennyPincherMarketing.com, I have a, you know, Jamie Shaw's Marketing Show is my main page on it. And then I have a blog behind it, but I have nothing on that blog. So it's brand new. So I can kind of show you the stuff on WordPress and stuff like that. Uh, getting messages already from Dave. My chat's probably not working, so. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. It's too late to mess with it. Um, whoops. So I'll just kind of fly, fly blind. If you guys have questions, send them to me if the chat don't seem to be working send them to me in a, a direct message on facebook so i'm going to share my screen with you and we'll get into getting the blog set up let's see if my entire screen will share it or it does stupid stuff like always uh, it's going to do stupid stuff like always. So, All right. So in the discus here, you want to change this sort by to set it to newest. That way you can see, oh, there's people. There's Pops and there's Katie. Set it to newest. That way you can see the newest comments as they're coming in. So who else is here? Looks like Pops, Katie. I know Dave's here because he just sent me a message. So, you know, and... You can switch back and forth, you know, and see the newest comments, but newest will be the best one. Now, Pops, I see it, Pops, so we're good to go as long as they keep coming in. Uh, let's see if I see it on the other, other one. Change to newest. No, I just see it on basically... That's the one with my user ID. So I see it just on the pennypinchermarketing.com. So that's fine. I'll go with that. And I'll watch that one. Um, so I have two dashboards set up here. This is my MLSP dashboard. And, you know, it's a WordPress blog. I see yours and I see Katie's both pops. Um, I'll make some post in here. Being this chat solution is really cool. There, there, there's Dave. So there we go. I see all of you in the chat. So we're good to go. So you know, you you have a basic WordPress press blog here. So if I go to my other dashboard on PennyPinchMarketing.com. I have a WordPress dashboard, you know, so it's exactly the same. Only difference is I have Tammy Shell Marketing Show set to my static front page, which I can show you that when we get to that point. Now, for let's just assume you're an MLSP and you want to get your blog set up. First place you want to start is here. You know, if you don't understand WordPress, click on the blue link here. It's beginners training for WordPress. And then if you have questions, you know, go to the red tab. 
watch these videos. These videos are here for a reason. They walk you through on how to set up your blog. And then if you want to know how to, like, here, let's start this up. What's up, guys? Welcome See, Jim to Finale the MLSP sites. Is doing the exact same thing that I'm doing right here. He walks you through it. And I'm assuming you got your blog already set up. If you do, you'll have. And actually, you want. Let's backtrack. <laughs> I made a mistake. Let's start here. This is, you know, getting your MLSP site set up. Watch this video. Download the Getting Started Cheat Sheet. It's a PDF. Download it. Watch video two. And then it'll walk you through how to get set up. And this is the one I want to start with. Welcome to M. So you want to, this is what you'll see. You'll see MLSP sites. You put in your, your login username and then your sub, you don't have to have a subdomain. If you're going to use subdomains, that's fine. And then give it a blog title. You can create, change the blog title right later. So all you need is a username and this username must be different than your blog subdomain to so choose wisely. I use my MLSP login name that I use. You know, I use JShaw to log JShaw68 to log into MLSP for my username. So I use JShaw68 for my login name on my blog. Okay, so so you put in your username, put in a blog title, hit create blog, boom, you got a blog set up. Okay, now, then you want to, after this is all set up, it'll give you the password. I'm not going to show you my password because I don't want you guys hacking my site. So there, you know, you see JShaw68 WordPress. So that's WordPress login. Then you put in your password. As soon as you log into it, you'll come to this site. And, this, and that's where I was at just a minute ago. Go in, download Just Getting Started with WordPress. It's a beginner's training. If you have questions go to here watch this video here and then the next thing you want to do is if you have a domain you want to go to this right here and it teaches you how to map your domains all the way through there's videos for whatever you use and this is namecheap.com this is godaddy.com and it tells you how to use subdomains right here, or actually right here, domain mapping using GoDaddy host domains with subdomains. So there's one on subdomains, one on one hosting. So there's different hosting companies that you can use that'll show you how to set it up. And uh, it walks you through how to set up your domain, how to how to map your domain. So your domain is like mine. You know, um, if you go to my actual site, my domain is mapped. jamesjshaw.com if I go to this one and open the site up it's going to be pennypinchermarketing.com so <clears throat> so if you get done with domain mapping then you can do it if you don't if you get stuck in the domain mapping you know I've helped so I've helped several people with domain mapping so if you get stuck there you know let me know I can help you um, and if you go there, the next thing we want to do is pick, uh, a theme. So I run the Div Divi theme on, um, my MLS play blog, and I'll show you the, what the Divi theme looks like. That's what it looks like on the front page. I got a bloom plugin that I use for subscribe to my newsletter. Then this, this is just the home page. So. Then I have some MLSP products in here. Then I have some books that are Amazon books that you can put in here. And these are books you should be reading. And then look no farther, get started today. When you hit here, click here, it'll open up a type form questionnaire where you can go in and answer questions and give me answers of the questions I'm answering, you know, about what you want to do in an online business. And that's what they're all about. And you see, I have a menu that pops up down here, and we'll get to the menu here in a minute. But 
on my I have a slider up here on my home page so I have the workshop where which I still got a recorded video and put here which I haven't done yet but if you go to the main slider if I hit here learn more it goes straight over to my blog now it's gonna run slow because I'm webcasting at the same time but then here's my blog all my different blog posts you want to I and I have that plug-in time you know set at a timing to come on so if you hit the read more button it just shows a snippet of it then you hit the read more it goes to the actual blog post and I have a video and a little blurb and then a call to action and then related post I have at the bottom and then a comments button or area that's Facebook comments and I think I, I need to get rid of this one I got it doubled up I need to get rid of the Facebook comments I was helping Jovi so I might have put with Facebook comments so I might accidentally put it in there but uh you know these are the menu tabs that I have I'm on this one right here right now I also have who is Jamie Shaw and you know there's a few little things you see that's wrong with my blog that I haven't got fixed yet but for the most part it's pretty much done um, I have a header image here that I'm a home business coach and a website designer that's what I do I also work in IT and I work in highway design you know I do uh, computer aided drafting and it talks about my story and a video about who is me this video was done on 24-hour marketing mastermind Dave did an interview with me and I told my story and this is my story so I need to put a call to action in here to direct somebody to go somewhere else but you know a few little things you know touch and go that you need to finish then you go work with me you know it's the same way I've got a um, I've got a video in here with it we did on a hangout where I was talking about the secret then I tell you about what what you'll get by working with me and some links in here and these links I need to change them so they highlight when you hover over them you know so like I said I just got little things I need to touch up and stuff like that and I also got a footer down here that I can click on that's a live link go straight to my Facebook page it goes to my Facebook fan page that goes to my Twitter page it goes to my Google Plus page then that's my RSS feed and then we were just on Jamie's blog and then we have the workshop where Institute page that I have pretty much done except for I want to record a video maybe maybe not I don't know I might just leave this in here you know I got a certificate of graduation for attending the workshop warrior Institute I'll talk about what it is at the end of the show you can go to this page and you can read all about the workshop warrior Institute the videos in the background there are custom videos free videos and you can get them at I'll have to find it it's it's a funny word it's a vi vid vid vo or something like that I'll have to look it up and let you know I can probably look right here real quick but, uh, no I'll have to find it I've got it somewhere written down but that's okay and then if I go over to penny pincher marketing you know all you see is this because this is set to my static front page I don't have no menus or nothing on it this is my show going on right now curses fold again I want that password nope not getting my password so so if we go into the dashboard let's go in the MLSP dashboard so after you set up and get your blog all set up the first thing you want to do is pick a theme and like I said mine set to Divi so that's what mine looks like if you're brand new you never blogged before I would suggest using flex pro or Metro Pro if you're a little know a little bit about blogging a little bit about WordPress stream pro theme is the one I was on before I switched to Divi and it's a pretty pretty good theme you can edit most of your blog and stuff like that I think Katie uses flex pro or Metro pro theme and they're both pretty good themes you know 
and you can go set them up. So instead of struggling, beating your head, trying to figure it all out, let's assume you want to set up a streamlined pro theme. So if you click on that, it'll take you to the Streamlined Pro theme and teach you step by step on how to activate the theme, set up the plugins, set up the settings, widgets, menus, theme design, and custom homepage widgets. It'll walk you through seven pages of exactly how to set it all up, how to get these up in the top. Before I switched over to Divi, I had these all up in the top. Divi's all fully customizable. I could put them anywhere I want on the page. So that's why I chose it. I want blog to stand out. You know, I've got some changes I want to do to it because some things I don't like how they look. So um, I like the the smoke in the background. I think that's pretty cool. And the clouds in the background, I think that's pretty cool. But the, the um, fiber optic lights, I'm not sure if I like them or not. You know, so go through this step by step. It'll teach you, you know, if you click on plugins. It'll tell you what each plugin is, what it does, and all that. And they're really simple to set up. And after you get your theme set up, I'm not going to go in and show you how to customize your theme. That's what this is for. I want to show you how to customize your theme. But you can look at your themes. So if I want to change, let's look at Streamline Pro. Where is it? So there's all kinds of pro themes in here and the pro themes are paid themes you know so if, if i want to use uh streamline pro on this page i'd have to go out and buy it so being a member of mlsp you know you get the advantage of having these pro themes back here in the back office that are that you didn't have to pay for they come as part of your membership let's see if we got any questions here real quick nope Katie's just still want my password. So what you can do, let's see. Okay, Flex, I, I don't know where Streamline Pro is, but here's Flex Pro. It's another one in there. Flex Pro is a pretty, pretty nice theme. And you can look at a live preview of what it'll look like. And if you do it through <clears throat> this over here, you can edit it oh somebody messed up the, oh sorry it's it's taken what's on my blog already and that's why it looks so ugly it's this is what it would look like if i change my blog over to this theme since i already have it set up in divi it's looking at all the code and everything that's all the code from um amazon that it's looking at so that's why it kind of looks ugly so since I have a setup in Divi, I can't go to another theme. I'm, st I'm stuck with Divi. Otherwise, I have to do a total redesign. And I had to do that going to Divi. So, so that might not be good. Let's go back to my dashboard. We'll go over into this one. And I don't have any anything set up on this one. So, this one may be a little better to look at. So, I have this to set as my current current theme. Lovecraft craft so and I have optimized press installed in this this is what my blog is hosted on optimized press or not my blog but my my show is hosted on so we want to be careful we don't screw anything up in here <laughs> but if you want to look at what it would look like you just hit live theme hopefully I don't screw up my broadcast while I'm broadcasting And take a little while to load because I'll see it. It's taking me straight to my page that I want, my custom page. But we don't want to do that because I mess with that because I don't want to mess with my my show was ongoing. But this is just like MLSP. You have pages back here. You know, I have my Jimmy Shaw Marketing Show as my front page. I actually moved my simple lead system over here too. And I've got my four modules over here too. You know, then I have a blog post page here and stuff like that. So let's kind of go through the settings of what you want on your blog. Once you get a theme picked out and you know you're starting to design it, put header images and stuff on it, you want to go to your settings and go to general. And then I'll go to plugins and we can cover plugins a little bit. So this is where you can change your site title. So 
you know, if your uh, your why changes, you know, right now, you know, that's a big thing for me. Change your mind, change your life. If you change your mindset, actually, I want to change that. So I'm going to change that right there, right now. Change your mindset, change your life. Go down and make sure you hit save the changes. So now it says that's my theme. See, it changed right up here. Change your mindset, change your life. So then you want a tagline in there, just a few words of what your site's about. You can change these at any time. My email address and then your time zone, which is mine's uh, Chicago is the closest big city to me. So that's the time zone I'm in, Central Standard Time. And then the rest, you know, you can set your date format and your time format and when your week starts and, and your site language. And you want your writing. This is where you can uh, have a, allow uh, emoticons or not. Um, you can set up post category, you know, you can see your post categories and stuff in here. Uh, custom content. You want your post at standard format. Um, I don't have any projects or stuff like that. I don't use projects. So, you know, that's just basically the writing. So the reading pane you want to go to. I really don't mess with the settings in there. They're fine. This is where, by default, your front page will display as your latest post. So your blog will actually be your front page. But as you see on mine, you know, my home page is a custom design home page. So that's my home. And then my blog is a separate page. Come on. I don't want to cooperate. It wants to disappear on me. But my menu up here, I'm going to have to figure out how to stop that from auto hiding. But you've seen it. I got a blog. The page is just my blog. And I'll show you the pages here in a second. But you can set this to, you know, like your home, a static front page. And that's what I have mine set to, a static front page. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I thought it would explain what a static front page is. Basically, a static front page is if you create a custom home page like I did and you want people to come in to your home page. Like, so my custom home page is like a landing page. And uh, so I want people to come in and land on that custom landing page. You know, if they buy a product right there or they buy a book, you know, then I earn a commission off of it. Then I want my post my post page i don't really have said because it's mm -hmm. since i already have my blog set up it's messed up so about being page doesn't mean anything and then you want uh your text or your article set to a summary and then you want all these checked you know if you don't want to show the date you can check that i won't show the date on there and make sure you always go down and hit settings this is already custom set up for you you don't have to mess with none of that the next thing you want is discussion. And the discussion is where you can allow comment commenters or stuff like that. So uh, and people to register, they have to be registered and logged in to comment. Uh, you know, only members of the site can be can comment um so basically you have to register and log in to comment i probably ought to take that off um i don't know let's just leave it for now i don't want to think i even have comments activated you know then you can say uh avatars um what your ratings is the default avatars um you want the blog to be followed and comments to a follow comment option in the comment form. Um, you also want comments to be manually approved. You want to be in control of your comments because that's what happened to my penny pinch marketing blog. I just let anybody comment out and it got hammered with spam and uh, Google deemed it a, a spam WordPress blog. Plus it got hacked, you know, somebody stole my password and got in and hacked it. 
and they put all kinds of spam all over it. So I got deemed as a, a spam blog. So it took me two years to get that out of Google's Google jail, basically, and get it back in the good graces of Google. And now I host my, my website on it. That's why I don't put a lot of content on it because it's mainly to host my, my show every week. And, because I don't want it to end up back in Facebook jail. One person put some spam on it. So Cody, Katie, don't be spamming the chat because I don't want to be back in face in Google jail. So, but you can allow anyone to post and everything and comments help for moderation. If you have both these checked, you know, anybody can post. So if I take this off, it ain't no big deal. Anybody can post, but the comments help for moderation and then it has to be manually approved. So you control what goes on your blog and what doesn't so i need to save them settings and the next thing media is just where you up <coughs> upload your pictures and stuff like that permalinks is another important area you want to be on permalinks you want it set to post name default i think it comes in at numeric or something like that you want it set to post name that way it gives your website name plus whatever the post name is. So uh, I'll show you when I get to the pages, pages and posts and stuff here in a minute. Um, but I'll show you what the post name is. Or you can do a custom structure, which is basically the same thing, post name. Um, what it does is, oh, say your blog's about, uh, well, like tonight, you know, the blog. So I want to do a post about the blog. So it'll be James J. Shaw slash the blog slash that'll be your custom post name and then these if you're in mlsp and you want to integrate mlsp go to mlsp integration you have to have that plugin activated and you have to have your mlsp username your api key and your api secret key oh crap katie's got my secret key now so and to get that, you have to go in MLSP sites and go to your uh, profile settings. And it's probably going to log out because so you go to your profile settings and go to API. And there's your API ID and your secret key and you already see my secret key, so it's no big deal. And other stuff back here in the training library, it call it everything you need to know. Yoast SEO plugin, we're going to go touch on it a little bit. The MS, L, MLSP call to action, that's what I'm covering now. And, you know, if you want Google Tag Manager, that pop-up that I had that says join my newsletter, that's the Bloom List Builder plugin is, is what I use. And then on Streamline Pro, when I had it, I had Quickie Bar Pro running, which put a bar across the top of my, my screen and collected email address. And you can do Facebook comments, uh, WordPress opt-in studio, activity scheduler, you know. There, and then there's other stuff down here for WordPress for beginners. You know, for complete blend, beginners, click here. And then there's plugins, quick start. Beginners plugin, quick start. Beginners quick start checklist. All this stuff is very helpful and will make you very good at WordPress if you go through them. Take the time to go through them and learn what you need to learn. So, and then Facebook comments if you want to set it up. Uh, and then Google Analytics, we want to cover that. You want to go to Google Analytics and get your site tracking code. There's videos on YouTube on how to get. Google Analytics set up. I've covered it in a, another training in the workshop, I think it was. So if you're in the workshop, you know how to get your, your site tracking code and you put it in there and then you can go look at all your analytics in um, Google Analytics and see what kind of people are coming to your site and stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you a piece of Webmaster Tools here in a minute in a little bit, but that's fine. Um, so the next thing we want to do is go to plugins. The one thing you don't want to do is go through here and activate every plugin you have. See, I got, I have a lot of them that aren't active. I have click to tweet. I have a skirmit. I have 404 to 301. I have the bloom plugin. The bloom is, uh, my, uh, 
opt-in box. Uh, I have easy Facebook like, Facebook comment plug. I have the feed burner form, Google Analytics. Hide YouTube related videos. Oh, that's so that's supposed to be so. Uh, it's a simple plug in to keep YouTube O embed from showing related videos. So it's not when you have that activated, it's not supposed to, after it plays your video from YouTube, it's not supposed to show related videos after it. I have Instagram set up. Some of these I probably need to go in and do activate because since I changed over the Divi, they're not relevant anymore. Uh, Jetpack, you want Jetpack. There's a lot of cool features in Jetpack that you can use. Um, the MLSP called Action Widget. That's what I was just talking about. You have to go in and activate it, and then you have to go to. I showed you where you get your API key. Uh, the Monarch plugin is. I don't think it's. Oh, you've seen it when I was on my blog. It popped up in here and it had some code in there. Well, it's not supposed to show that code, so I may have to take off the Monarch plug in and use it not even use it because it's on Divi it's not working right or I need to go through the training on the MOSP blog site on through Divi on how to get the monarch plugin set up right opt-in monster I don't use because I use bloom uh, Pinterest I have set up on there pop-up pro I don't use because I have bloom as a prop pop-up so don't go through here and activate every plugin you don't need every plugin these right here streamline pro or if you're using Flex Pro, it'll or MLSP Simple even, it'll tell you what plugins you need to activate in there and what they do. So there's just only do what you need. Uh, custom CSS I have, you know, Lightbox and Short Code Widget. I don't have any of them. I don't need any of them, so don't use them. Uh, that's for the customizer theme. Genesis I don't really need because I'm not using. I'm using Divi, so I don't really need Genesis, and so that one should probably be turned off. And then Sumo Me, because I went to the Bloom plugin instead, I don't use Sumo Me anymore. But if you need a capture box and you can't figure out how to set up Bloom, which I'll show you real quick how to set it up, it's really super simple. But Sumo Me uh, will give you a capture box too, and it'll collect your emails. The only bad thing with Sumo Me is that you cannot integrate it with. Um, Aweber unless you pay for Sumo Me. The Bloom plugin you can integrate with Aweber and you don't have to pay for the plugin or you don't have to pay for it. And then some of these other ones you want the YouTube channel gallery activated that way you can put you in your YouTube channel and stuff like that. Um, I will cover the Bloom plugin real quick and this since I have Divi I have other options for Divi, which is the footer and the library and stuff like that. Um, when they upgrade Divi to 3.0, which 3.0, if I was on the site, I'd have a little plus button here and I could edit it live while I'm looking at it in Divi 3.0. I seen a post from James Finale yesterday that they're still waiting on Divi to get their final testing out on 3.0 because it still has a few bugs in it. That's why MSP had gone to it, but they're going to it soon. So it's going to be where you can sit on your page and edit it and look at it at the same time and decide whether you like it or not and change the things out. Right now you can't do that. You have to have, you know, a page open and I'll show you how Divi works, but so I'll get to that right now. So go through the, the PDF and figure out what plugins you need. I'm not going to cover every plugin I'll cover because I don't really have time to cover every plugin. But because I want to get the pages and post and I want to cover the menu real quick and then I want to show you the Bloom plugin. So if you're having problems get your menu set up, go to appearance, go to menus. And I'll probably do a part two next week and cover widgets and stuff like that because I know a lot of you are working on getting your blog set up and if I do a couple couple sessions on blogs it'll maybe it'll help you get your blog set up and everything so these are you know the the menu that i have i made a custom menu i have a, a main menu and a secondary menu which i don't use i made my own custom menu that way i can put what i want up here that way i have a home static page like you've seen my static page was set to home and then my 
post page was set to uh, about me page well in the old menu structure see about me pages there so and it shows two home pages well it screws everything up if you already have your site designed and you go to divi so you have to make a custom custom structure so you get everything the way you want so now my post page is my blog and everything i post in the blog goes straight to my blog this blog so i want to save that I always look for save buttons and stuff and you can do a lot of stuff um joey was made a and i don't mean to pick on you joey but she made a, a subdomain and got it in her menu over here somehow and she had it on there and she had a bunch of blog posts on it. she couldn't figure out why well it's easier to go in and make pages and then put the pages as soon as you make a new page it'll come up in this this structure here and you can just click on it and then hit add to menu and i'll put it over here you can also put that under jamie's blog so it's a subdomain underneath the, or sub heading under that make sure you're always hitting save let's see if we got any questions here real quick No problem, Dave. It's hack time. Yeah, hack into it. I want you. I want you to see it. I'm spamming the chat. <laughs> Katie, you're so awesome. Let's go back into my menu structure. So, and the only, the way to create a menu, you just hit create a new menu. It's, it's simple. You know, name it whatever you want, and just start. All you gotta do is check a box and hit add to menu, and I'll put it over here. And that's all you got to do. So let's go to pages and I'll show you the kind of pages. There's my pages. I have the workshop warrior page, work with me page, who is Jamie Shaw. I've got a testimonial page, but it's hidden right now. I have testimony from Katie and I have testimony from Sonia, and I need to get it in my structure and I haven't figured out where to put it yet. And then in my training, uh, I pretty much trashed it. I just I'm not showing it on my blog at all. And you see, it's showing that about me page is my post page, but I have a blog and that's where everything is. And I probably can't edit it because of the Divi theme. Actually, I can. It's going to take me right into the Divi theme. See, I'm. I'm in the Divi Builder, so this is what it looks like, and it probably won't load up, so I probably won't be able to show you because I'm streaming live. But anyway, I might just have to do a video and post a video of it on how to do Divi, the Divi Builder live because with me streaming this show, I can't do it at the same time. Um, so. And posts are different. Posts or your blog posts. So let's go to post. So, you know, there's all my blog posts. And I've got a lot of them with tags in them. Some of them I don't have tags. Some of them I got in draft mode. But this is the last one I did. Get out of my own way. I say I was bad. I didn't put no tags in it. Uh, I was in a rush to get it up. And I didn't mess with it. Let's see if I want to go back to the old way I used to blog, I just click on that and go to use default editor. But I'm in the Divi, so the Divi is different. And I don't have this SEO or anything. And it's not going to load up for me. But so I'm really sorry I can't show you that part of it. Like I said I'll do I'll do a video and I'll load it up in the group. So you guys can see what the Divi looks like and how to edit it and everything. It's really cool. But I got so much running it, it's not going to let it load up. Um, so, you know, post is your blog, your actual blog post. So I'm, like I said, I'm sorry I can't show that, but it's your actual blog post. And what I've been doing is I've been taking my videos 
and loading them up in my blog. So it's a video blog, basically. I'm writing, you know, minimum is 300 words, right? Writing 300 words and then putting my blog post up in there and my video. That way I'm putting content out. And that's all you got to do. Take your Facebook lives, download them, upload them to YouTube, put them on your blog. It's an easy way to repurpose your content. You're making videos anyway. Take it and do it. Uh, another plugin I want to show you was Pretty Link, real quick. Since I have my domain mapped, you can take any of these, any of the MSP links. Here, I'll show you this link real quick. I'm going to edit it. The Facebook cheat, and you see it's jamesjshaw.com. Facebook cheat. I'll go back to that here in a minute and show you. But all you do is take your funnelizer or you take your, your product, your MLSP uh, campaign, system campaign product link. You know, when you open this up, create my first ebook, it gives you Jay Shell 68, build my ebook. You just take that and copy it. And then you go over here to Pretty Link. And you paste it in here and make sure you cloak it so it it actually goes to this link right here so they won't ever see this link all they'll see is this right here and then and under advanced options make sure you check the no follow because you want it as a no follow link and that's pretty link you if your domain's this then you just put a little slug in here to whatever it is and they'll never see this ugly link they have this nice pretty link that you get to look at and now I want to go to Bloom and show you Bloom real quick. Let me go back here real quick. Sure, Pops, no problem. Yeah, Dave, I've been working with blogs since 2007, 2008, something like that. So. I'm not a guru in blogs. I'm not an expert in, in WordPress, but you know, I I get around in it pretty good. I know my stuff pretty good. But the Bloom plugin is like this. So, ooh, my newsletter's got 477 impressions, one conversion. I didn't see. I haven't even looked at this. Let's say you want to make a new opt-in form. I want a uh, so I got one that flies in. I got one that pops up. I got, I think that's what both my, let's do a pop up. That's that one that pops in all the time. Okay. So just give it a name. Say I want us to, uh, Yeah, I can't spell it all. <laughs> and you just tell it what you want. Aweber, I want to integrate with Aweber. Ask you to pick an account. If you can add an account, which I don't want to add an account. Well, you can. If you want to add a new Aweber account, you just hit generate authorization code. Pop, that'll pop open. Log into Aweber. It'll give you a code. You come back. You paste that code in here. Simple as that. Uh, you can integrate MailChimp, Aweber. Since I already have one, my newsletter. I'll put newsletter in there. Email list. My newsletter. This mine's already integrated. So you want to, if you don't have it integrated, you want to hit add new account. Like I said, go. We'll change it to this. Hit added account. Generate authorization code. I'll show you the, I'll log in real quick and show you the authorization code it makes. Copy this code. Right there. Authorize. Oh, we gotta give it an account name. Put 
cool. Whatever your account name is, I'm not setting one up, so it don't really matter. Um, but that's the idea. You have to give it an account name. So just say newsletter. And hit authorize and I'll authorize it. And then, which I'm not going to do that because I don't. I've already got one set. I've already got two set up. So now you go into the design and you pick a template. And there's a bunch of templates you can choose in here. So, you know, and there's different different places where your opt-in is. So let's choose this one here. Next, customize. And then you just start filling in. You design your opt-in form. You can uh, tell it where you want the image below the text to the left of the text and you know, all that stuff. Or you can upload your own custom image if you want to in there. You can have the image load in as a slide up, uh, a fade in, a slide right, a slide down, a light speed, you know, whatever you want. You can play with the styling, the header font, the body font, the text color. You can play with all this stuff and customize it to your liking. This is where you want the edge, the fold to come in at, you know, uh, like say mindset to that one, I think it is. So you can take a preview of it. Let's see, it's got that jagged edge there. So you let's go back up. You want, uh, you know, give it a title, give it an opt in message. Um, I want to find out, remember where them buttons are. Uh, form on the right, or you can put the form on the bottom, on the left. I'm going too fast. I know we're running out of time, and the deep, deep abyss is coming up. So, uh, You can make the form corners rounded, you know, all that stuff. There's a button in here where, because you've seen it only had just email, where you can get it to where it says name and email. Uh, and for all of you that don't know, hide your opt in boxes on mobile because Google's going to start penalizing, penalizing you for having an opt in on your mobile. There it is display name field right there. So you get name and email. I don't ask for phone numbers. So you don't have to worry about phone number. So all you get is their first name or their full name and their email. Then, you know, you want to hit save and exit. Then you go to your display settings and you can tell it where you want it to display. So you can have a different opt-in form for every, every page and you can just set how you, when you want it to display, what page you want it to display on. Cat, you know, if you want categories, I always uncheck the categories because I don't want it showing categories. I want it showing a page, and then you can define overrides and stuff like that. You can tell it uh, how many seconds you want to delay for it to come in, uh, and same with animation. You know, you can have all this different animation. So that's the Bloom plugin, pretty much in a nutshell. So I'm gonna stop sharing because I got about. Six minutes left. Let's see if we got any questions. All right, let's go. Any questions? I said I'll do a video and put it in the chat. I'll probably get to it tomorrow or Saturday morning. And I'll put it in the the 24-hour marketing chat or uh, group. I might just put it in the workshop group. That way, uh, workshop warriors have access to it, and uh, then they can go in and access it. Or I, I might put it in the 24 marketing group, and I'm probably put it on. My, it'll be on my YouTube channel as well. That way, the people that are here that want to see part two or see the Divi theme, they can see it. And then I'll probably do a part two next week. You know, cover some other stuff. I, I know I kind of went fast tonight. I want to cover some other stuff. Hopefully, I don't have to have as much stuff open. I can have one of my other computers. My other computer had some stuff going on on, and because uh, I've been working on a client's computer. Uh,
Okay. So that's it for tonight. You know, thanks for all of you hanging out with me. It's five minutes till I'm going to get off early so we can all go to the deep abyss and it's going to be an important call tonight. So make sure you hit Pastor Jackie tomorrow afternoon, Monday, 24 hour marketing mastermind. Um, Tuesday, Sonia and Maria on marketing system or marketing systems of work. Uh, Wednesday, Wisdom Wednesday, and then back here Thursday night to the Jamie Shaw Marketing Show, and we'll do part two of blogging. I'll see you all next Thursday.